Managing type 1 diabetes is a round-the-clock job of testing blood sugar, counting carbs, and injecting just the right amount of insulin. Every day becomes a balancing act, a struggle to avoid the dangerous highs and lows that can be life-threatening and lead to long-term complications. But what if we could replace the body's natural source of insulin? If there was no need for daily injections, pump therapy, or constant testing? If blood sugar control was back in the hands of insulin-making beta cells? JDRF has a plan to make that a reality. We're leading the effort to create an endless supply of beta cells and safely implant them with the protection they need to survive the immune system's attack. It's called beta cell encapsulation. And it would mean that people with T1D would be able to live as if they didn't have the disease for up to 24 months at a time. The process works by creating new beta cells, wrapping them in a permeable protective barrier and implanting them in the body. The encapsulating barrier is a gatekeeper. It lets necessary nutrients and glucose in, sustaining the beta cells and allowing them to sense changes in blood sugar while also letting insulin flow out from the beta cells into the bloodstream. But that isn't all. The encapsulating barrier also keeps the autoimmune attack out and prevents the new cells from being destroyed. The end result, put simply, is that successfully implanted beta cells will be able to keep blood sugar under control, all on their own. Preclinical trials have shown that encapsulation holds a great deal of promise. There are still challenges that need to be solved but JDRF is working on solutions. We're identifying the best materials for the permeable barrier. And we're working on the actual design and shape of the implanted packet so it can hold the beta cells without being intrusive. While this research continues, JDRF is already taking encapsulation out of the lab and into the real world. We've teamed with one company to convert stem cells into beta cell precursors this encapsulation therapy is scheduled for human trials in 2014. Another JDRF partner has already begun human trials of a different promising new encapsulation therapy. And JDRF-funded academic researchers are already working to make encapsulation a reality. In only six years, JDRF's leadership has transformed the entire field of encapsulation research, taking it from an idea in its infancy to a real therapy in the early stages of testing. Encapsulated beta cells have the potential to be life-changing, allowing people to live their lives as if they didn't have T1D. But there's still a lot of work to be done, and we need your help. Support our efforts to make beta cell encapsulation a success. And together, we can turn type one into type none.